is your host, La Chocolate Box, and we're here with DPTV Networks. At, and you know what? I'm in my, my old stopping ground. So we came down from the city, down to Asbury Park, and we're covering Mayor Campbell's Showcase of Talent. <laughs> I have with me the director. And now, the courageous, the courageous, Dream it. What made you come up with the idea for Dream Girls? I thought it would be great to um, give the community something fun, exciting, new, fresh, um, and the talent that we have at the high school, I wanted to showcase their talent and get it out there that Asbury Park High School has amazing young ladies and men um, that are capable of putting on an amazing show. You know it's got to win. Trusting them, my you ladies must be really impressive, so I can't wait to hear this. How did you go about doing the selection process? Um, I thought of what the community might like to do and might like to see um, and what would be a good draw for the kids because I am new to Asbury Park and I'm a new teacher here. So um, trying to put on a, a great um, name for the drama club that we have here at the high school. And like I said, we have some very talented individuals and wanted to showcase that talent. Tell me your name and what character you're playing. I'm Taylor Carpenter and I'm playing Laurel. Okay, and what, what grade level are you in? I'm in 11th grade. Okay, Taylor. And you? I'm Alicia McKnight, I'm a sophomore, and I'm playing Dina. Dina, okay, and your name? Antasia Stan, and I'm playing Effie, I'm a senior. You're watching DPTV, and I'm your host, La Chocolate Box. We'll be right back. This is your host, La Chocolate Box, and we're back at Mayor Campbell's Showcase of Talent at the VFW Post, again, once again, downtown Asbury. Um, Mayor Campbell, just give us a synopsis on why you decided to do this event. Well, Asbury is com composed of very many diverse groups, okay. and so this was the first attempt to, on a positive basis, bring together some of the different groups that are in the city. Okay. And what can we do to get more people involved in this? What do you think? Well, we have to continue to reach out for more groups. We have to advertise it better, and we have to let the people know how successful this was. Okay, so I actually participated in this again tonight, and I actually had a really good time. It was hard um, performing after so many youth groups. They were fat. How did you get the youth to come out? Well, you know what, once again, these are diverse groups within the city. Some of them I've seen before, okay. and I was so impressed. And there sometimes is a separation between, in this case, the Haitian culture and the black culture. And as a result of this, a couple of the dance crews from both the African-American church and the Haitian church are probably going to join forces for a few numbers. And that's actually a good thing. I know that here in Asbury Park, that's something that we're always working um, towards, which is youth diversity. I mean, the youth, as we all know, is our future, and that's something that's huge. I guess as any inner city area, how do you propose that um, that will, how do you see that happening within the next few months or maybe next summer? How, let me just rephrase that. With regards to the youth, what do you think that we can do to bring them into more cultural events? I've been to events before where there was maybe five or six kids that showed up. What we have to do is we have to advertise what positive event this was today. And we have to show via pictures, via video, via press, the positiveness. And I think that draws young people in. Do you think that um, possibly getting more parents involved? I know that's a huge thing, parent involvement. It's extremely difficult to get parents involved in some cases, but we've got to do a better job. We just have to. And I'll tell you, every child wants their parents, their grandparents, their sisters and brothers to see them. It makes them feel good. and It, it builds a positive self-image. Mayor Myra Campbell of Asbury Park, I'm La Chocolate Box, and I'm with DPTV Networks. We'll be right back. Oh, 